The content on this channel is not made for kids and intended for adult action figure collectors. What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends 80 Years Amazon exclusive Alpha Flight 6 pack set. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends outside of Amazon, you can do so with DMW All Things Marvel, which is a legit Marvel merchandise business family owned and it features all kinds of fun posts on their site including incredible customs and action figure photography they have giveaways over there and it's a little community over there man you know people find figures for each other people trade figures over there so i recommend it check it out link in the description below and i gotta give a big thanks to x-man 87 for giving me a heads up on this pre-order oh man when he helps me out like that it goes such a long way with me being super busy with the two kids and everything oh man but anyway great image right over here i love this artwork it looks fantastic you can see all six characters right there. On the side, you can see each of their names along the side right there. That looks really cool. And then here's the six figures in the snow. Looking really cool. I like that a lot. And I really like this packaging too. Each character has maple leaf behind them. And on the top, it says Alpha Flight. And then when you open this up right here, you can see all six figures inside. And then you can see all the characters on this flap right over here. And I didn't know that they would show where each of them is from. That's really cool. I like that idea. Now, there's no magnetic flap or Velcro holding this thing together. So that would have been kind of nice to have. But anyway, there's nothing at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's our remaining alpha flight figures out of the packaging and i might have tiny little gripes i'm not gonna lie to you guys there's just little things here and there i am going to mention but for the most part i am very excited to finally complete this team and these figures just look awesome anyway uh, we don't really get accessories for these characters so let's just get a closer look at these figures <laughs> So first off, looking at Puck, I do like that Hasbro gave us a new head sculpt. I actually wasn't really expecting that uh, for a Puck head sculpt comparison. You can see that we have the more Grimace, meaner looking Puck. This one's a happier Puck, so I like that. The eye color looks really good right there too, so I'm really happy with that. The mask and the headpiece looks great. Nice looking big old fuzzy mustache. Then you can see he has those ear cups right over there, which remind me of the good old wrestling days. And you can see, uh, you know, some little tiny little lines right over here with this new camera. It's picking up every single tiny little detail. Now the body mold, of course, is the same as the Build-A-Figure Puck that we'd seen before. But they did change the color on the P, which I like because we had a Marvel Universe Puck that had a gold P. And then the Build-A-Figure had this flat yellow color. So I'm really happy that they upgraded it with the gold P. And then the hair sculpt is still there. We get that nice light gray paint throughout. And the paint does look a little bit cleaner or needs to be a little bit cleaner on the right wrist as opposed to the left wrist. And then there's not a whole lot to look at on the back, except if you like little puck butt. And then, of course, the figure has peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And then here's looking at the Vindicator head sculpt, which looks really good. I like how this visor came out. So that's pretty awesome. I dig that. The skin tone looks really good. The lipstick and everything looks really pretty. I like the facial expression that we're seeing right here. We get that pearlescent white, which looks great. And I love the hair on this figure. Oh man, very well sculpted. And it has some articulation. That was so red. But I really love how this hair color came out. Nice sculpt right over there too. So very good looking Vindicator head sculpt and hair. Now with all three female figures, they're reusing the Kate Bishop body mold. And I gotta say the maple leaf does look a little bit fuzzy on the figure. And the white color gets a little bit of that cream tone to it when you get to the limbs. However, uh, most of it has this very nice pearlescent white color, which I do like. But yeah, it does get to be a little bit cream color, especially on the legs. Uh, the red does not seem to match the Guardian figure that we've gotten. So that bums me out just a little bit. I wish that the red was a little bit more uh, similar to the Guardian. And we do get a peg hole on the back of the figure, which looks good. And then we do get some clean lines and we get some fuzzy lines on the figure, but we still get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. And then the Shaman looks great. I really like that flesh tone. The eyes look really good. It's hard to get some really solid light on there, but you can see the brown right there in the eyes. Nice gold headband and the hair is sculpted out really well. I like this beautiful black straight hair. Looks really good. Very pleased with that. Nice facial expression, the skin tone right there looks good on the neck as well. Some soft plastic right there, you know, for the hair that's coming across the front and back. So that's pretty cool. 
I do like how this looks, man. Very clean. Well, except for that little tiny spot right there. And as far as the rest of the Shaman figure goes, they did go with the Bucky Cap body mold again. And I gotta say, it doesn't look too bad, man. I do like the yellow paint for the most part, but there are some parts where it gets a little bit fuzzy, or especially that left shoulder over there. That I feel like it could have used some more yellow, I guess. And then there are some edges that could have been a little bit cleaner on the front and back of the figure. I do like the bracelets that we're seeing on the figure, and I do like those hands as well. The belt with the loincloth looks pretty good. I'm calling it a one cloth anyway and of course we still get peg holes at the bottom of the feet and then here's looking at aurora who looks beautiful i really think that hasbro's been doing a great job of making just the characters look pretty you know or for the ones that are supposed to look pretty anyway and i think that looks fantastic with the eye paint i like the bright blue eyes right there the eyebrows look really good the flesh tone looks good right there she's got the elf ear sticking out right on that side the lips look great nice pretty mouth and she has a nice pretty eyes and eyebrows and hair it looks really well sculpted really happy with that really digging that man really nice looking hair on this figure so a lot of nice details on this one i do like how the aurora came out as far as the head goes now i do like the pearly white that we're seeing throughout on this aurora figure again they did use the cape bishop body mold the maple leaf lines are clean on the upper torso and back but they do get fuzzy on the lower torso i wish she had interchangeable hands and the right calf is a little bit cleaner than the left i have this weird thing going on with the right foot of the figure i feel like the way that peg uh, going into the foot was just placed in a weird way so that's a little bit frustrating and then she does have peg holes at the bottom of her feet and then here's north star which looks great to me in person however when I look at this figure through this macro lens I'm seeing all kinds of little tiny lines on the side of the cheek over there and everything but it doesn't really look as bad in person I just actually did not notice any of that stuff until I was looking through this new camera so yeah it still looks great to me I do like the flesh tone the eyes look really good you know he does have the elf ears too looking really nice and then you can see the hair is combed over looking really good off to the side right there Great looking head sculpt. I think the hair looks good and everything. I really like this quite a bit. Nice looking North Star. Now for the North Star body, they are using the second Spidey 2099 mold, and it looks pretty good with all this pearly white throughout. I do like the pearly white on the figures. Uh, we do get fuzzy lines though on the upper torso and around the hips, so I wish the lines were a little bit cleaner right over there. Otherwise, it does look pretty okay to me. Uh, we see that cream color again like we'd seen with the Vindicator figure, so I don't know. I wish you know the white colors throughout on the figures were a little bit more consistent, uh, but we still get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Now there's this thing going on right here where I think they are flattening the butts. Uh, I don't know why they're doing that. Uh, the man butt, you know, these are twins, so they should, you know, have similar butts, right? Yeah, the man butt's just fine. Plenty of crack right over there. Not so much crack over here. However, on the Vindicator, uh, she's got plenty of crack. So, you know, I, I study this stuff thoroughly, and I just want to make sure that we don't lose out on the crack. And then here's Snowbird looking absolutely stunning. I wish she did have accessories, at least like if she came with some repainted small animals that you could, you know, throw in with this set. Would have been really nice to have. But I do love this head sculpt. I, I do like how this whole tiara looks. Nice shiny blue paint right there. The eyes look really good. I like how the black and white for the eyes look. Nice blonde color for the eyebrows. Her flesh tone and her mouth look very pretty. So that's very cool. I like that. I like how the hair looks. Uh, you can see some black paint just kind of mixed in here that just does not seem like it's intentional. So that throws me off some. But aside from that, I do really like it a lot. We're getting really nice sculpt right here with this hair. And I really like that blonde color for the most part. So I'm really happy with this head sculpt. So I don't think the Kate Bishop body mold is necessarily bad on Snowbird. But for some reason, with this character, I was kind of hoping to see the Moonstone body mold. I just like to see that body mold reused a whole lot more in general. Uh, but I love the shiny baby blue paint and plastic that we're seeing throughout on the figure. The cape looks really good. I like how it's wafting off to the side, so that's really neat. I dig that. Uh, we get matte white paint throughout on this figure as opposed to the more pearlescent shiny white paint that we'd seen on the other ones. And then the shiny blue butt looks really good, so I like that. And then we have mostly clean lines mostly and we get pickles at the bottom of the feet now again all three of these figures have the same body mold i just want to show off the head sculpts though and we do get new articulation on vindicator so i love that you can move the ponytail around that just makes me so happy wish we'd gotten that on some other figures that have come out but hey it's at least here now and you can get her to look all the way up because you can get that ponytail completely out of the way so that is very cool as far as aurora goes her hair is not going to allow you to really move her head up more than that so that's a little bit restraining of 
course, you can have her look down, and they all have that forward and back shifting like a pile driver. And then similar thing with Snowbird over here. I do feel like I can get her to look up just a little bit more so, but it's definitely limited in motion right over there, and you can move the head all the way down. Of course, you get side-to-side -side motion and head pivoting on all three of these. And then again, I have this weird ankle issue with Aurora. I just feel like the ankle was placed in a weird way on just this particular figure, so that's frustrating. Now, there's nothing really new as far as articulation goes on these three figures. I mean, if you've seen the Puck figure before, or if you have one, it's going to be the same exact articulation that we'd gotten last time. You can see we get great head articulation with North Star, so he can look up that much, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. Could look up more so, but you know, I like that. It's not too bad. And then with Shaman, uh, definitely a lot more limited uh, because of all this hair and you can get them looking up just that much, which isn't too bad. Now to measure out these six figures, you can see that they're all at about the six and a half inch mark. And you can see clearly Shaman's the tallest one, and Puck is definitely the shortest one, uh, standing at about three and a half to four inches. And then for a size comparison, we have our new Alpha Flight figures. Next to our older Alpha Flight figures, we have the Hasbro Guardian, or the first Hasbro Guardian, and the Toy Biz Sasquatch. These two figures right here, for the longest time, were the only Alpha Flight figures that we had. I think it was 2013 when we had gotten the puck figure so it was just really these three with the exception of the sasquatch variant slash snowbird right so it was really just these three figures and then here's our six new alpha flight figures next to the last two that we'd received so just very recently uh, we got the guardian figure and the sasquatch build a figure from hasbro and this completes our team right over here for now i guess uh, you could add more characters right there are maybe a couple missing i'm not super familiar with alpha flight but i think there are more characters but i really like this a lot i am very 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 pleased with this i'm so happy for the longest time i've been wanting to complete this team and this is complete enough for me at the moment and then here's our new alpha flight figures and next to the marvel legends apocalypse build a figure wave wolverine from hasbro and i just saw the x-men versus alpha flight episode on the fox kids x-men cartoon show on my disney plus i'm having so much fun binging that and then here's the alpha flight box set next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time badass spider-man and unfortunately i do not have time to post stop motion today you guys as this video has taken me an incredible amount of time to make with all of this learning I have to do with the new camera and the new lenses. Oh man, it's been a lot of work to get not that much more stuff done than you guys are used to seeing. But anyway, uh, yeah, Big Time Badass probably would agree that this is a badass set. So I don't know what else to say except for me just being super happy to have this, man. I'm so glad Hasbro went ahead and did this and completed the teams. I'm glad that Hasbro's thinking about team building and they're continuing on and on with that. So I'm very happy with it. And I have my gripes with these figures, you know, but nothing major. You know what I mean? I could deal with the cream colored legs here and there i guess that's my biggest gripe and we get some fuzzy lines but really i'm stoked about these figures i guess we could have seen more accessories but i'm still very happy to have them and at the price point of around 120 bucks i'm gonna give this set a sud rating of i love it and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below let me know what you think of the new camera quality i'm curious to get some feedback on that of course there are still things i'm working out then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already and a big thank you to all the patrons over here that make this upgrade possible and make it possible for me to continue on on this YouTube channel. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com and don't forget to follow me over on the Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! And, uh, action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. Hey, I'm sure Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.